From Loretto Abbey, home to the Sisters of Loretto since 1928, and the Loretto Abbey Secondary School, and with the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from the estate of Jose de Medeiros. This Mass is offered in memory of Jose, Maria, and Elizabeth de Medeiros. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God be with you all. Amen. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, you reward the merits of the just and offer pardon to sinners who do penance. Have mercy on those who call upon you, that the admission of our guilt may serve to obtain your pardon for our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his servant, In a time of favor, I have answered you. On a day of salvation, I have helped you. I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to establish the land, to apportion the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, come out, to those who are in darkness, show yourselves. They shall feed along the ways, on all the bare heights shall be their pasture. They shall not hunger or thirst, neither scorching wind nor sun shall strike them down. For he who has pity on them will lead them, and by the springs of water will guide them. And I will turn all my mountains into a road, and my highways shall be raised up. Lo, this shall come from far away, and lo, this from the north and from the west, and this from the land of Zion. Sing for joy, O heavens, and exult, O earth. Break forth, O mountains, into singing. For the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion on his suffering ones. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her nursing child? or show no compassion for the child of her womb. Even this may forget, yet I will not forget you. The word of the Lord. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and his compassion is over all that he has made. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is faithful in all his words. 
and gracious in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is just in all his ways and kind in all his doings. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. The Lord is kind and merciful. Pray. To you, o Lord, King of eternal glory. Praise to you, o Lord, King of eternal glory. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will not die forever. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus healed the man who was paralyzed on the Sabbath. Therefore, the Jewish leaders started persecuting Jesus because he was doing such things on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, My father is still working, and I also am working. For this reason, the Jewish leaders were seeking all the more to kill him because he was not only breaking the Sabbath, but was also calling God his own father, thereby making himself equal to God. Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, the Son can do nothing on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, the Son does likewise. The Father loves the Son and shows him all that he himself is doing, and he will show him greater works than these, so that you will be astonished. Indeed, just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whomever he wishes. The Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Anyone who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Very truly, I tell you, anyone who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come under judgment, but has passed from death to life. Very truly, I tell you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself and he has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be astonished at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge, and, any judge, and my judgment is just because I seek to do not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 
I uh, hear today's readings and the words of a hymn come back to me. God is speaking. Can a mother forget her baby? Or a woman, the child within her womb? Yet even if these forget, even if these forget, I will never forget my own. Those words towards the end of today's first reading are words maybe that we men can never fully capture. The depth of meaning uh, they convey belong to a mother. God as mother. We men seldom think that way. And then there was today's psalm. The Lord is kind and merciful. Thank God for that. Let's hear the rest or some of the rest of that psalm, one of the 150 such psalms in our Bible. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and his compassion is over all he has made. The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. A wonderful reminder in this psalm poem that God is not that far away from us, that God understands what we're going through, that God, in the person of Jesus, knows what it's like. And then we meet Jesus, the healer. He healed a man on the Sabbath. Hmm. He worked on the Sabbath. He wasn't allowed to do that. His explanation, maybe his excuse came, my father is still working and I'm also working. The two of us, myself and my father, work as needs be. My father has granted me, his son, to have life in myself, not just on weekdays, but also maybe especially on the Sabbath. I teach, I touch, I heal people. I work so as to enable people to come alive. And uh, he goes on further, not only people, but the heavens and the earth too. Sing for joy, O heavens, exult, O earth, break forth, O mountains, into singing. Uh, I'm sure... Jesus would be uh, happy to hear us sing to the mountains, sing to the sea, raise our voices, lift our hearts. He might join us in the singing of another song. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing, Alleluia, Alleluia. He'd be happy to hear us call on the burning sun with golden beam, and silver moon with softer gleam, the flowing waters, pure and clear, the rising morn, the lights of evening, Mother Earth, the fruits and flowers that verdant grow. Do we take all these for granted? Summer is not all that far off. There will be growth. How beautiful, but do we appreciate it as much as we should? But then come also the uh, not-so-good days, maybe the lonely days, the days when we feel forgotten, the suffering times. Maybe then we can relate to Jesus who was rejected. We can relate to Jesus, the Jesus they wanted to uh, get rid of, the Jesus they thought they had got rid of, only to hear that his tomb was empty and he had disappeared. Only not really disappeared. 
to turn up in disguise again and again and again, the resurrection stories. I wonder, has the risen Christ ever turned up in disguise in my life? Has he turned up in disguise in your life? Do I ever hear myself thinking or saying to myself, you know, he was in this place and I never knew it. What a pity. So we arrive where we started. We come full circle back to God, our father, but also our mother. Can a woman forget her nursing child or show no compassion for the child of a womb? Even these may forget, yet I will never forget you. For those who find life too demanding, we pray to the Lord. For those who find life too lonely, we pray to the Lord. For those who find life too hurried, we pray to the Lord. For those who find life too competitive, we pray to the Lord. And for our own intentions this day, we pray to the Lord. Grant to us, O Lord, a heart renewed, recreating us your own spirit, Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, mercifully wipe away what is old in us and increase in us grace of salvation and newness of life through Christ, our risen Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with the apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to those around us the peace of the Lord. Take off. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Would those of you at home join with me now in this prayer of Cardinal Newman? May he support us all the day long till the shades lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed and the fever of life is over and our work is done. Then, in his mercy, may he give us a safe lodging and a holy rest and peace at the last. Amen. Let us pray. May your heavenly gifts, O Lord, which you bestow as a heavenly remedy on your people, not bring judgment to those who receive them, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go from this Mass in the peace of Christ. Amen. Our thanks to our donor for the gift of this Mass. If you can't sponsor a Mass, any contribution, no matter how small, will help keep Daily Mass on television. And you'll receive an income tax receipt for your donation. Just give.